The deadliest S-400 that can destroy all jets, more deadly than you think. How effective is the S-400 Triumph Air Defense Missile System? Triumph or SA-21 Growler is a mobile, surface-to-air missile system, SAM, designed by Russia. It is capable of engaging aircraft, UAVs, cruise missiles, and has a terminal ballistic missile defense capability. It represents the fourth generation of long-range Russian SAMs and the successor to the S-200 and S-300. The S-400S mission set and capabilities are roughly comparable to the U.S. Patriot system. Unlike some Patriot interceptors today however, the S-400 does not currently employ hit-to-kill ballistic missile defense technology. Russia is however developing a new interceptor, the 77N6, which is believed to employ hit-to-kill technology. Triumph features. The S-400 Triumph Air Defense System integrates a multifunction radar, autonomous detection and targeting systems, anti-aircraft missile systems, launchers, and command and control center. It is capable of firing three types of missiles to create a layered defense. The system can engage all types of aerial targets, including aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, and ballistic and cruise missiles, within the range of 400 kilometers at an altitude of up to 30 kilometers. The system can simultaneously engage 36 targets. The S-400 long-range air defense system has reportedly seen its first combat and gained its first kill during the country's military intervention in Ukraine, engaging and neutralizing a Ukrainian Air Force Su-27 fighter near the country's capital Kiev according to a number of reports. The shootdown reportedly took place on February 25th. The Russian S-400 anti-aircraft missile deployed in Belarus directly shoot down a Ukrainian Su-27 fighter jet over Kiev at a distance of 150 kilometers, and a huge meteor shower appeared over Kiev. It created a new long-distance record for shooting down enemy aircraft in actual combat by anti-aircraft missiles. S-400 is twice as effective as the previous Russian air defense systems and can be deployed within five minutes. It can also be integrated into the existing and future air defense units of the Air Force, Army and Navy. Specifications the S-400 primarily uses the 48N6 missile series. These missiles allow it to hit aerial targets at ranges up to 250 kilometers and are capable of intercepting ballistic missiles across a 60 kilometers radius, using in both cases a 143 kilograms high explosive fragmentation warhead. Another missile series, the 77N6, is currently in testing. Unlike other Russian SAMs, the 77N6 missiles will use hit-to-kill technology, as do PAC-3 missiles, and are designed specifically to destroy ballistic missile warheads. The final missile series used by the S-400 is the 40N6, a long-range family that can extend the air defense capabilities of the system to 400 km 6. The current deployment status of the 40N6 missile is unclear, and questions remain as to whether the S-400S radar capabilities would allow the 40N6 make full use of its maximum range. S-400 Triumph Missiles The S-400 missile system uses four new missile types in addition to the missiles of the S-300 PMU system. The first missile inducted for the system was the 48N6DM, 48N6E3. It is an improved variant of the 48N6M with a powerful propulsion system. The missile can destroy airborne targets within the range of 250 km. The 40N6 missile of the S-400 has a claimed range of 400 km and uses active radar homing to intercept air targets at great distances. It can be launched against AWACS, JSTARS, EA-6B support jammers and other high-value targets. 
The S400 Triumph also launches 9M96E and 9M96E2 medium-range ground-to-air missiles. Designed for direct impact, the missiles can strike fast-moving targets such as fighter aircraft with a high hit probability. The maximum range of the 9M96 missile is 120 kilometers. Command and Control The 55K60 command and control system of the S400 Triumph is based on the Ural 532301 mobile command post vehicle. The command post is equipped with LCD consoles to process the airspace surveillance data of the individual batteries. It controls and monitors long-range surveillance radar, tracks airborne threats, prioritizes the threats, and coordinates other batteries. The system is also capable of exchanging data with other defense systems such as SA-12, SA-23, and S-300. S-400 Triumph Radars the fire control and target tracking radar of the S-400 is the 92N6E, NATO codename, Gravestone. The radar is based on the MZKT-79 38x8 vehicle. The 96L6G's board 3D surveillance and tracking radar is optionally carried by the same vehicle when the S-400 battery is deployed autonomously. The 91N60 Big Bird Acquisition and Battle Management Radar of the S-400 is based on the 8x8 trailer. The radar can detect and track aircraft, rotorcraft, cruise missiles, guided missiles, drones and ballistic rockets within the distance of 600 kilometers. It can simultaneously track up to 300 targets. Launch vehicle of S-400 missile system. The SP-85TE-2 launchers are based on the BAZ-64022 6x6 tractor truck or MAZ-79100 series transporter erector launcher TEL vehicle. The TEL vehicle can carry up to four launch tubes holding a mix of missiles. S-400 development. Russia began developing the S-400 in 1993. Budget restrictions following the collapse of the Soviet Union, however, limited Russia's ability to design an entirely new system. Between 70 to 80 percent of the technology employed by the initial S-400 design was taken and adapted from the S-300, including missile storage containers, launchers, and radars. The S-400 launchers were also designed to be compatible with S-300 interceptor variants. Point one testing on the system began in late 1999 or early 2000 at Russia's Kasputnir missile range. The first S-400 systems became operational in 2007 and entered service with the first air defense corps responsible for defending Moscow, 